That's right, gamers. Welcome back to another episode of our Triple Threat Halloween Review. Now, Spooktober is a season I really like to enjoy. In today's episode, we will be reviewing three games and seeing which stacks on top. Now, you all know me. I go through a three-point system, and we add them up all together to find out our total score. Gameplay, building, and scripting, as well as our overall concept. These are all combined together to create our overall score in which we will be comparing the overall scores of these videos. And now, if you see there are time frames at the bottom, if you'd like to click to one of them, go ahead, it will take you to the certain game of the review as we will be reviewing three games. Now, let's get started. Okay everyone, last episode I asked you all to paste Halloween games in the comments section down below. Out of these games, I chose three of them, and in today's episode, we will be reviewing each separately of the three elements I comprised earlier. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start with our first game, The Witching Hour. The Witching Hour is a very popular game which has since amassed over 1 million visits. This game was developed in the year 2018. Now, this game is still updated regularly, so therefore I will be reviewing the new update, not the older ones, which are in older games. This game's overall concept is similar to that of Plate of Mayhem, where plates that you stand on, which are mainly based on luck, rotate around. Some of the effects include Witch Potion, which can get you killed, a plate on fire, a plate bridge, or a plate battle. Effects vary, and this game is more based on luck rather than skill, making it a fair game for all players. Although the concept isn't original, it is certainly enjoyable to play. The purpose of the game is to survive these catastrophic events with your friends, Hop over to other plates, maybe visit them for a while. Overall, I'd rate the overall concept pretty well, as this concept works very well with the game, and you can expect a new outcome every time with over the 270 plus outcomes listed in the description of the game. So what's our final score for this category? The overall originality score is 7.5, as I don't think the originality was very original. Scripting, the game has some quite nice GUIs, generally taking an old script theme. However, I wish some of these GUIs would have a smoother transition instead of just a click. More of a smooth type of blur shutter frame transition, almost like the one I use in my video. As terms of the effects, the effects are absolutely beautiful. I really like the effects and the retro theme they give off, such as the fire effect and the potion effect. The GUIs are clear and readable, however, sometimes they glitch out of the screen. Some items also glitch in your hand as well, such as the knives and the pack of scissors. I wish that in their next yearly update, they'll continue to fix and build these problems, as they are really game ruining to me. Some of these make the game even unplayable, as stated in the description of the game. So what's our overall rating for the scripting section? Unfortunately, I have to rate the scripting a 5 out of 10 as it is so glitchy, it doesn't even work sometimes. Now, let's go on with our building. The building is an old English style which originated in the 1700s. In fact, a famous form of this is actually called timber lemming. Timber lemming is where you outline a white frame around brown wood. It was a very popular style back in the medieval ages and you often see it in medieval houses. It clearly tries to replicate that with the store in this game, and I think the building is amazing. It's very well done. Overall, I would rate the building an 8 out of 10. After adding up all our scores, we get an average score of 6.8, but for the sake of this video, we'll round it to 7. Onward to our second game, Trick or Treat in Hallowsville 2. This 
successor to the first Trick and Treat Howlsville. The overall concept of this game is to go to the houses in the game, collect candy, and then sell it to the children on the sidelines to buy new costumes, which you can then use to make your avatar look sparkly. You can also deposit your money in the bank, or go to many other shops located in this town of Hallowsville. However, this is not just a game where you earn. You need to eat some of the candy yourself to survive, and there is also quests that you can do in the game, such as an obby and even more. This makes the game very interactive. I think the concept of this game is beautifully well done. There are not really much games out like this, except for its successor. The gameplay elements noted in its successor have been transferred, most of them. However, the ones that we didn't like, it corrected on immediately, which I give thanks to the game developers for. I would rate this overall element a 9 out of 10, as there are not much glitches and bugs. I really like everything that they did in this new game. I find the scripting in this game to be absolutely amazing. The dialogue is creative, funny, and sometimes gets a chuckle out of me. The GUIs are very, very well done. These GUIs range from 3D GUIs to the GUIs on the bank screen. There are many different styles of these GUIs. I believe the 3D GUIs were done the best, as they make the game feel more immersive than it really is. So, you might ask, what is my final score on that item? I think the overall score for that one would be an 8 out of 10, as I think the GUIs were very well done, however just minor things need to be fixed. The building in this game is set in a wood green style, however I don't really think that it adds that much flair to the game, it's more of just basic. I mean, it does the job, but it's not very impressive. My overall rating on the building would be a 6.5 out of 10. I just didn't find it that creative, you know? In calculating all these scores for Trick or Treat in Hallowsville, we get ourselves a final score of 7.83, which we will round up to 8. Now everyone, this is our final game known as Pumpkin Carving Simulator, end quote. This game was released in the year 2018, by the developer, the great developers. Seems quite egotistical, don't you think? The overall concept of this game is absolutely garbage. It is simply just another boring simulator. In order to get high in the simulator, or to get points, what you do is you carve into these pumpkins. The new update also made it so that way you can slash zombies in order to gain from these pumpkins. You then sell these seeds to this giant pumpkin, which don't even get me started on how a pumpkin is alive, has characteristic traits, and has a personality, plus has currency. None of this even makes sense, guys. This concept is so overused, and I'm sure me and you are both sick of this crud. The overall score on the originality of this game or the game concept is a 3 out of 10. It's horrible. I just... It's generic? Nothing is original, nothing works. In fact, Carving Pumpkin, the stylization, it just doesn't work and there are so many glitches, it's not even funny. In terms of scripting, I'm going to be honest here. Some of the things are actually alright, such as the seeds traveling to the pumpkin, the pumpkin carving creating a jack-o'-lantern, etc. These are nice touches, and I think they add nicely to the game. Although the game isn't nice in itself, I think the scripting is the element that was done best overall in this game. I think the GUIs were done actually quite alright. The animation is smooth, all the icons are clear, readable, easy to understand, the spawn button is easy to understand, the new camera movements, I really like the innovation of that. So instead of my normal negativity that surrounds my personality and ultimately ruins me as a person, I'm going to rate this category a 7.5 out of 10. I think it was actually done quite decently. It's not much, but it looks like the building here tries to replicate a graveyard style. It's very simple, low poly, and ends up actually producing a decent element. 
However, it's just average to me. Overall score for the building is around a 6 out of 10. In decimal calculations, we get ourselves a score, a very poor one, of 5.75. Now, drumroll please, our winners. So guys, our winners for this round is Trick or Treating in Hallowsville. This one by far deserved it. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you have a safe, happy Halloween. Remember, always go to houses with lights on, not the ones with them off. Those are not safe. Also, they don't want you in there. Thank you very much from this fan art from my friend Dennis. I super appreciate it. This video took me a long time to make. If you're watching this still, thank you. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. These videos take me around two weeks to make, which is what my uploading schedule is. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Again, have a happy and safe Halloween, and peace out.